Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I want to talk to you about the three apps that you may have when it comes to the Helium network, as well as how to move money around between them and the wallets that are connected to them. And if you like content like this, please do choose to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, I do talk about more things in Helium. I talk about like GeodeNet or WeatherXM or other deep end projects that I either want to get involved in or am considering getting involved in. And if you want to learn about them, the best way is to subscribe for, to my channel. Okay, that said, we have three different uh, apps when it comes to Helium. We have the wallet app, which is the black app. We have the builder app, which is the blue app. And we have the mobile app, which is the orange app. Now, uh, mobile is being tossed around as a word quite often with all of this. So I, I would prefer to kind of just referencing it as the black, the blue, or the orange. Uh, to be clear though, uh, the Helium wallet is very old. Uh, it's been around for a while. <laughs> over a year. Um, the uh, builder is somewhat new. It's used mainly for those of us who are getting into the Wi-Fi indoor or outdoor hotspots. And then the mobile is for the one that is for your Helium mobile phone service. So if you have any of these, uh, you probably have one of these apps. Now, my system happens to be unique. Uh, I got both a Helium hotspot for my house as well as the Helium service. I use the same username and password for both of them. And because of that, it's using the same wallet. So if I go into the blue app and look at the wallet, you're gonna see that it has the same information as the uh, orange app. Now, the one thing that's unique with the Orange app is it tells you, for example, how much mobile I have, but it also shows what it is in dollars based off of the current value of the mobile token. So that's kind of nice feature. Uh, it also has an easy button right here to click to grab the wallet information, which as you can see, I just copied it and we'll use it later. Now the uh, blue app, as you can see, does not show how much uh, the mobile value is in dollars. And if I go over here, uh, I, because I can't, as you can see, get access to the wallet information here, I have to go under settings and I copy it right there. And as you can see, it's the same. I mean, you couldn't see the whole one on the other side and I'm not probably showing it here. <laughs> But uh, there it is. There's the Salona address right there as well. So you can actually copy it from settings here too. But uh, in the orange app, it is just right here as wallet address to make it easier to access. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this mobile through one of these two apps over into my black wallet. Now, the black wallet isn't really a wallet, right? It stores your wallet, but it can also store multiple wallets. So here at the top, I can click on it, and not only do you see this wallet, but you see another wallet. And I can also go in and add a new wallet if I want to. So I can create another wallet. Let's say I am working with somebody and just put a Freedom Fi at their house, and we're gonna put a we're gonna mount a CBRS to their roof, and I want to create a separate wallet for them for them to be able to reference everything by. I can do it right here, or if I've already created a wallet for them on their system and I want to import it in, I can import it right here. Or if I want to connect it to a ledger to store all my tokens, I can do that as well. Um, my wife has one of these. She really wants me to connect it, but I don't want to give her access to my crypto. So probably won't do that. All right. That being said, uh, if we go back, you'll also notice here that we have access to all of the different types of currencies uh, or cryptocurrencies. Um, we have HNT, IOT, Mobile, DC, Seoul, and USDC. Now, um, you can earn, or you used to be able to earn, HNT, and now we're currently earning IOT uh, through this wallet because it is connected to the rest of my hotspots that earn IOT, but I don't have any hotspots here that earn mobile, so as you can see, mobile is zero. Uh, all of that mobile 
is located uh, in the other wallet, the wallet that is connected to the blue and the orange apps. So I can't actually connect that up here. There is there is no way to go in and choose add new wallet and import that in. It's just it's just not it's not an actual helium wallet. It's a mobile wallet. So if I want to bring money over here, I need to well transfer it. Um, now the transfer occurs uh, in a couple of ways, but let me just finish talking about the money here because the other thing to consider and the reason why you'd want to transfer it here is because you can do a lot of different things. You can choose to exchange, for example, I could exchange mobile for H&T or exchange mobile for USDC or exchange H&T uh, for, uh, well, let's say SOL. Um, the reason I might want to exchange it for SOL is because everything as you can see at the bottom of even this screen, there is a fee for it. So you transfer things, there is a transfer fee, and that fee comes from your Solana. Um, you pay for it through uh, your Sol token. So that being said, you may need to transfer a lot of these different options back to your Sol token in order to do your conversions or do your transfers or whatever you're looking to do. One thing, for example, you may want to do is you may want to transfer things to USDC. And the reason you may want to do things via USDC is because you know most exchanges out there will use USDC. Now, if you are exchanging through like Binance or CoinMarketCap or um, Coinbase, I believe those all allow you to do IoT or mobile or H&T, but just in case you're dealing with an exchange that doesn't, you could always say, no, I'm going to take everything and I'm going to transfer it first from, let's say, H&T to USDC. So easy thing. I could go in there then and pick how much, maxim it, click confirm, and then it tells me how much I'm going to convert then to USDC. And USDC is stable and it can be exchanged throughout most of those exchanges that we've talked about, plus many others that are out there. So just something to consider. Okay, that's the reason why you'd want to bring it over to this wallet. Um, the other wallets don't have an exchange option, as you can see. But if we want to bring mobile over, we need to do what we saw before, you know, max it out, confirm it, and then I need to enter an address. And as you can see, there is that transaction fee. So I need to go to my Helium wallet and get that address. Well, yeah, you can see my face now. There you go. The address is located right there at the top. I can copy it. But I'm actually going to convert to put this in my other wallet, which already has some uh, mobile in it. So I'm going to copy that wallet name. And I'm going to go back and we're going to go in Helium Mobile to do this. Again, it's the same system. I'm just going to show you in both so you can see. So we're ready to go right now to send payment. But if I wanted to, I could go to my blue wallet, go here, click on mobile, enter that amount, max it out, done, enter the address. There we go. So again, if I don't have enough... Uh, Sold to do it, it's not going to work, but I do. So I can either send payment again through the Helium uh, Builder wallet that way or through the Helium Mobile wallet that way. I'm going to send it through the Helium Mobile wallet. So here we are, we're transferring it. And while it's transferring, I'm just going to jump over here so you can see how much is currently in here. So bring it up. So there's currently uh, 8,306 mobile. Let's go back. We'll have to give it a little time. Sometimes I've noticed having both these apps open can cause a problem. I just close the other one just to be safe, but hey, look, it's already complete. I can go back to the wallet and I can see, oh, I got no mobile left. And now, and by the way, if you go underneath, you can see the transactions, see that it was sent, know what's been coming in, what's been coming out. As you can see, I 
sent and traded some uh, soul just a little while ago just to make sure everything would work for this video. And then if we go back to the Helium wallet, now we can see that I definitely have a lot more mobile than I had before. Okay, so that's pretty much it, but I just wanted to show you one fun thing related to these different types of wallets. So my Freedom Fi, which is my 5G wallet, because of the kind of wallet it is, it is stuck in the standard Helium wallet. But that sour purple moose right there, my indoor Wi-Fi hotspot, I put, well, in a regular mobile wallet. So just like you saw, uh, I, but I want to look at them through one place right here through hotspots.hellohelium.com. Uh, so if I want to do that, what you can do is go to whichever wallet your, your specific hotspot is in and under account, you can take that hotspot and you can choose to share access. And that's what I did. I used that share access and I gave access uh, in this case, from another wallet to be able to show my fluffy latte mockingbird right there in this wallet. So uh, I did it with the other wallet. Uh, in this case, I was just showing you how you could do it for the Helium hotspot that is uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot in my house. But it also has a lot of detail that's nice to read. So like looking at my Freedom Fire right here, I can go in and I can see like what system information, data transmission, uh, this, uh, the health metrics, access, speed test, and my attached radio. Now, it took forever to get this uh, Freedom Fi on because apparently there's some CalChip issue right now with registration, and so they needed to add my serial number in. And then when I tried to put the, the CBRS cell radio connected again, there was an issue. They needed the serial number. Had to send it in. They attached it. Finally, it's attached now, so I can see information on it. I get health metrics, location, and I finally was able to register it. So point being is, you know, all of this is available to look at, but sometimes you may not have easy access to find it uh, to manage all of your different uh, hotspots unless you connect them all and share them onto one wallet and then access that wallet via hotspots.hellohelium.com. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of that extra information. I do hope it helps you. Once again, guys, please do like and subscribe if you want to get more information like this. And Thanks for watching.